thing on? Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, a lot of people here. Uh, <clears throat> I, I wasn't expecting this many people. But, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's good to be here. Uh, for all those who came today, uh, you know, thank you. Uh, I know it was a busy Saturday for some of you, so you know, so taking the time to come, I uh, really appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, <clears throat> so yeah, my name is Jay Lee. Uh, I'm from Korea, and that's South Korea, not. <laughs> Not to be mistaken with uh, Spike Lee or you know, Sarah Lee or you know, Bruce Lee. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, growing up, uh, the kids did always ask me, are you related to Bruce Lee? But it doesn't look at me. I, mean, I haven't done a single push up in my life. Uh, yeah, so uh, growing up in America with a name J. Lee, I'll be honest, it can be pretty tough at times because for one, uh, people always get my name wrong. Um, so my Korean name is uh, Jewoogi. Yeah, Jewoogi. Uh, yeah, that's not a joke. That's my real name. So it will be. Um, somehow, uh, when I came to America, it translated to J D, uh, which was kind of weird. Uh, it's even spelled J A E, and so I guess people get confused a lot. Um, so, yeah, so Americans call me J D, and the Indians call me Jai D. <laughs> and yeah, you know, sometimes it gets annoying. But the, uh, <laughs> but man, the Mexicans, man, they're the worst. Because they just call me Chinito. I mean, they don't even try to call me by my name. And so later, I later uh, looked it up and found out what that meant. And it actually meant uh, small agents. <laughs> and uh, I found that a little insulting because uh, uh -huh. the last time I checked, <laughs> it wasn't that small. <laughs> I mean, it's not shack size. But, hey, it's not Kevin Hart's size either. Uh, so yeah, um, anyway. Yeah, so growing up, uh, there was a um, addition for a K-pop band. And I don't know, have you guys heard of a band called BTS? Yeah! All right, cool. Um, so yeah, I auditioned for that, and yeah, let me tell you, it became a disaster <laughs> because, um, well, I actually thought I did pretty well until I heard, until I heard the director whisper something into this guy's ear and he said, oh man, this is worse than watching Gangnam Style. <laughs> On repeat. <laughs> and yeah, they kicked me in the hell out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that didn't stop me from pursuing my dream. So um, I had this great idea to create my own band. Uh, I created it with my mother <laughs> and her sisters. <laughs> and she kept on insisting, so I even brought my grandma on. And so why the hell not? And 
so I created it and called it the POS. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't do too well because there was just too much PMS. <laughs> and it was just, oh, a BS. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, it, uh, it, it was so bad, actually. Um, my grandma doing the release. <laughs> um, and we sounded so bad. Like, I think we made Celine Dion sound like she was getting stabbed <laughs> while drowning. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, and so that didn't work out. And so I stopped doing that and I decided to uh, do a real job, something that, you know, is more respectable, right? So, yeah, so I started creating fake passports. <laughs> <laughs> and Oh man, but it didn't work out too, too well because honestly, it was pretty hard. It, was, it took a lot of patience doing the same thing over and over. Um, so at one point I started drawing penis on people's face. And I, I just named everybody a chinito. <laughs> but the Mexicans didn't, um, like that too much. So, uh, apparently, Chinita was not a name. Well, I thought it was. Uh, so yeah, after that, uh, <laughs> uh, after that, uh, someone recommended me that you know, if you want fast money, maybe you should try being a male stripper. So uh, I tried it out, um, but that didn't work out too well either, uh, because because uh, I didn't want to take off my clothes. So yeah, so that didn't last too long either, uh, and then. So yeah, I was kind of depressed for a while. Didn't know what I was really doing. Uh, and then I uh, I saw a billboard that said, work at the happiest place on earth. <laughs> and I'm like, sign me up. <laughs> and the next thing I know, I was uh, doing an interview at the DMV. <laughs> uh, and the interviewer, uh, he asked me, Hey, so what are you good at? And it was tough to answer because, you know, I feel that being a K-pop artist, uh, I was a failed, uh, <laughs> counterfeit artist, uh, I feel that even being a male stripper. <laughs> the interviewer, um, yeah, so he looked at me pretty seriously and said, hey, you are a real piece of shit. <laughs> You are perfect for this role. <laughs> Welcome to the DMV. Keep it going for Jay.